Andrew, um, what are the biggest decisions an umpire should have regretted or seen some other umpire make that can be like that was completely wrong? Um, well, like I said, I think umpire, I think we've all made, I mean, let's be honest, umpire, we're all human beings. So I cannot ever judge another umpire on his decision because I, that, has, that decision comes once in a lifetime and he had to adjudicate on that particular decision. So what he went through in that moment, that's up to him and myself as well. I mean, there are times, like I say, with you know, technology today, um, with DRS and so forth, what I've found with DRS is that it's taken a lot of animosity out of the game. Even though it puts you as an umpire a lot more pressure, because now you're not really umpiring, umpiring you're actually sometimes umpiring the DRS machine. The, the Hawkeye and all that stuff, whatever, the, the ball tracking. So you, you think differently, you know? So when you're making your decision, you just, you, you know, like I said earlier, with that split second to those points of LBW, and now you go bang. Now you think it's okay, she's okay. It's, 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 if I give it out, I'm gonna get challenged, you know, or this, that, whatever the case may be. Uh, but like I said, you always say trust your gut and go with it. That's probably 99% of the time right. Uh, coming back to your question, um, I remember a game against uh, Sri Lanka, or ODI, in uh, Johannesburg at the Wanderers, and um, the guy went on a sweep shot to Iman Tahir. Uh, I think it was a left hand, I can't remember, but anyway. And from front on, it looked stone dead. And just then, then the other cues as umpires, you also need to pick up on as well when you make decisions. And maybe it was the, that moment we just had been off for a break and those bees were on the field at the Wanderers. We were off for an hour or so with the bees. I was on the field that day as well. So maybe my concentration had broken when I was up there for an hour and then came back. And at the speed of the ball, I went to the boundary at the fine leg. Should have given me a clue that if it hit the pad, the speed would have been as fast. So I gave him my LBW, and he comes to me, sir, sir, he said, it came off the middle of my bat. So I said to him, well, then challenge me then, because that would be overturned very shortly. So he challenged me, and like I said, at the end of the day, um, it came off the, the bat, you know, um, so they didn't come close to the bat. I mean, the, the bat was that far in front of the pad. Okay, so my point is, so what, you know, when you make a decision like that, you just have to ask yourself, why, why, why did I make that decision? What mental space was I in at the moment? Was I focused? What was I thinking about? And like I said earlier, you know, spin bowlers, tie here, those type of guys are difficult guys to bowl or umpire against because they're like these little mystery guys, you know, so they put you under a lot more pressure. So that would be one instance where, you know, you think to yourself, okay, I, if I just looked at other aspects, maybe I would have got a better decision, you know. So if I was to look at, you know, a decision that I gave LBW, it didn't come close to the pad, it just hit the middle of the bat.